Hi, welcome to Sport Fishing Magazine's Boat Tour Videos. I'm your host, Dean Travis Clark, the executive editor for Sport Fishing Magazine, and I'm on a brand new 320 EC WorldCat. Now, EC stands for Express Cabin, and this is one big catamaran cabin boat. Come on aboard, let me give you a cook's tour, and then we'll go out for a ride. Let's start way up at the apex, the top of this boat. This is an optional tower, second station, complete controls, steering, throttle and shift, engine controls, gauges, compass, comfortable seat, and very safe. Let's go down below. Obviously, this boat has a huge cockpit, but look at this incredible transom. We have this walkthrough on center line. Obviously, we have twin Suzuki 300 four strokes, there is a choice of power. Moving forward, on this side is a standard bait well. There's a mirror image one on the other side that's an option on this particular boat, but as standard, it comes with a bait prep center. And then we have Worldcat's great signature transom seats. You have the obligatory rod holders in the gunnel here. You also have two in the transom. And then under the gunnel here, you have storage for three more rods and a place to hook your toes when you're fighting a fish or when you're gaffing or releasing a fish. And that gives you extra security. No fishing boat can be without tackle storage. These are good removable Plano boxes, plus a drawer underneath, mirror image compartments on the other side. And of course, you have to have a fish box. And this is a beautiful, big, relatively shallow one that makes it easy to get the fish in and out. Here on the bridge deck, there is a lot going on. You have sort of apostrophe shaped seating on either side for your guests. Underneath one side you have an insulated drink box. On the other side in the same spot there's access to your hydraulic pump for your autopilot, your Fisher Panda diesel generator, and then there's a distribution panel after that easily accessed. Here at the helm there's a fabulous helm seat with a bolster that makes it into a seat or flips up to make a leaning post. Big, broad area for electronics. You can easily fit two 12-inch displays side by side. Suzuki's digital gauge package gives you all your engine performance stuff. Electronic throttle and shift for the big 300 Suzuki four-strokes, and it's a very ergonomically pleasing place. Come on, let's go down below. You're not gonna believe this cabin. The bed, a true double bed, has memory foam for the mattress really, really comfortable. And then here forward, just as you come down through the hatch, there's a small galley. You have a microwave, refrigerator, Corian counters, a little one burner uh, cooktop, and a polished stainless steel sink. And then the distribution panel for all your electronics is right here. Behind me is a quarter berth. Now, I'm not gonna be sleeping there at six foot four, but it's perfectly fine for average sized people or children. In the starboard hull is a head with a fixed permanent marine toilet, stainless sink, plenty of storage, mirror, curtains, and a porthole. Here on the bow, you have a lot of options. You have two huge anchor lockers. This has an optional windlass, but you also have four cleats across the bow. This is a great bow and lots more room because of the catamaran design. You can actually walk over to the corners and have plenty of room to move around. This 320EC tops out at 46 miles per hour at 5,900 RPM with the twin 300 Suzuki four strokes. And then you're getting about 0.9 miles per gallon. Cruising speed, most economically, is 30 miles per hour at 4,000 RPM, and then you're getting 1.4 miles per gallon. Most catamarans stay flat in a turn, not the world cat. You crank that wheel over, it leans into the turn, turns on a dime, and it gets up on plane almost instantly. So that's WorldCat's 320EC. As you can see, it runs like a demon. Get to your dealer right away, take it out on the nastiest day you can find, and I promise you'll be impressed too.